Uh, give you a few facts about Green Plains before I introduce Senator Fisher. Uh, we opened the corporate office in Omaha in August of 2007 with four employees. Two weeks later, Green Plains' first ethanol plant began producing ethanol in Shenandoah, Iowa. Uh, today, our footprint includes 10 ethanol plants across six states with nearly 800 million gallons of production capacity, making us the fourth largest ethanol producer in the world. Uh, we have 19 million bushels of grain storage. We're expanding that to 27 million bushels over the next year, which should be completed actually uh, before harvest for the new crop coming up. We have ethanol and biodiesel distribution terminals in seven states, located throughout the southeastern and southern United States. Over the last 12 months, our company Green Plains Renewable Energy has generated $3.4 billion in top line sales, $158 million in earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So needless to say, we feel that we're a very healthy and strong company. As a company, we handle and process over 7 million tons of corn, which is over 250 million bushels. 23% uh, more corn than China actually imports from the United States. We also produce over 2 million tons of livestock feed and 160 million pounds of corn oil. With all the growth over the last six years, we still have more to do, as Green Plains is a growing commodity processing company. We have three competencies we have focused on since day one. Risk management, operational excellence, and providing a safe work environment for our employees. Turning now to our Nebraska footprint, um, along with the addition of this plant uh, at Atkinson, we just added a grain elevator purchase in Archer, Nebraska. That's actually 10 miles from our Central City location. And that'll supply corn into the Central City plant and uh, serve the farming community in that location. Continuing our locations in Archer, uh, Atkinson, we also have Central City, Ord, St. Edward, and Omaha, where we have a total of 240 employees total in Nebraska, 90 of which are at the corporate offices in Omaha. We produce 250 million gallons of ethanol in Nebraska annually, 75 million bushels of corn consumed, and we would like to note that in 2012 we paid $4 million in property, payroll, and other taxes just in the state of Nebraska. Turning now to Atkinson, I have a lot of credit to our operational team here in this community. Uh, also, our other locations from Green Plains, uh, we had a lot of employees from other plants, both locally in Nebraska as well as Iowa and other communities that came to help get this plant started up. We started this plant up in about 35 days from the time of the closing of the purchase. That was a phenomenal accomplishment, but it's also a tribute to the employee team who was here when the plant shut down because it meant they put it to bed the right way. And so for that effort, we're thankful. At Atkinson, we plan to produce approximately 50 million gallons of ethanol annually which will have us producing anywhere from 50, or purchasing anywhere from 15 to 17 million bushels of corn and selling 145,000 tons of livestock feed. Uh, Brian Constable, our Atkinson plant, plant manager, relocated from Superior, Iowa, to take on this opportunity. Uh, we've also added hired a total of 42 employees, of which about a third were employed prior to shutdown. We think the plant's at a great location and it's a technology in terms of Delta T that we understand very well, and we're excited about the opportunities ahead of us. We're most appreciative of the local and surrounding communities, including us, uh, the City and the Chamber of Commerce from both Atkinson and O'Neill, the Holt County Economic Development Office, the Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality, the Nebraska State Fire Marshal's Office, as well as also the growers, the transportation companies, the utilities, and all of you who stepped up and provided us assistance in the restart of this plant. Thank you very much. Your help is noticed, and we are truly thankful. We're proud to become a part of the community. And like the multiple other locations where we have hardworking employees and dedicated families supporting those employees, Green Plains will continue to do its part to be a good corporate citizen. It is now my pleasure to introduce our guest of honor. A lifelong Nebraskan, uh, Deb Fisher was born and raised in Lincoln. She continues to work for more accountability from our government. She attended the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and graduated with a degree of education. Elected to the United States Senate in 2012, she has earned a reputation as a tenacious advocate for lower taxes, reduced government spending, and a balanced budget. Good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, so great to be back here in Atkinson. I had the very distinct pleasure to represent Atkinson in the Nebraska legislature officially for seven years. But I, I claimed all of you for eight years uh, during my time in the legislature, so it's good to see friends here in the, in the audience, because this is a, a very important day. 
isn't this good to see this plant going again? You know, I traveled down the highway and it was closed. And I remember the dreams that the people in this community had when it first when it first was brought forward as, as an idea and when it was first built. And so I thank Green Plains for coming forward and buying this plant. They couldn't have picked a better community. You know, Atkinson is a safe community. It's a friendly community. It's a community with great schools, with good medical care, with vibrant local businesses. This is what Nebraska is all about. And this is what rural Nebraska is all about. So I thank Green Plains for coming in and recognizing uh, this wonderful community that, that you folks call home and that some of us to the west and down the road a bit who are your neighbors consider part of our home too out here in rural Nebraska. Green Plains is a, is a good company and they're providing good jobs here in this area. They're also looking to build a strong partnership with this community so that they can purchase some of the corn that you grow here I understand they're looking at purchasing probably about 17 million bushels a year. That's great. You're going to have a market for the corn. I'm a rancher. Sometimes uh, I worry about that ethanol market for the corn. But as a livestock person, I also realize the importance of the distiller grains that are going to come out of this plant. And that's going to help livestock producers as well. One thing I always try and tell folks when we talk about agriculture, we have to stick together. And we need to stick together in rural communities. So when we have a, a business partner like Green Plains that's willing to come into this community, willing to make a, a pretty darn big investment in this community to provide good jobs, to provide a, a market for your, for your crops, to provide a byproduct, for livestock producers, I think we all need to, to thank them for making that investment. And I know that, that they're committed to working with the folks here in Atkinson and in this area to develop a good relationship with your community. So I thank Green Plains for coming. I thank you folks for your interest and your continued positive attitude because that's how we're going to build a stronger rural Nebraska, and that's how we're going to build a stronger Nebraska. So thank you all very much.